Hello everybody, this is Keith from Crypto Coin Mindset. I hope everything is going well for you today. Today we're going to be basically updating a video we've done earlier uh, regarding my Ether wallet, uh, where we showed you how to uh, sign up and log into my Ether wallet. On February 11th of 2019, my Ether wallet set up a whole new interface, and we're going to review that today. We're going to read through what they have here for features in this wallet. So, my Ether wallet is now calling this version 5. So basically, their new interface is the Ethereum blockchain portal, and they've redesigned it inside and out according to them. I can tell you that it looks aesthetically more pleasing than the previous version, and we're going to show you because you can still access the older version, or what they're calling Vintage Mu. But I like this the look of this new interface better. The user interface seems easier to access. And, and at some point, you'll watch me access my Ether wallet. So let's start off with the whole new design. Basically, they've made the My Ether wallet platform obviously mobile ready. So it doesn't matter what device you're using, whether it's a desktop, a tablet, or your mobile phone. It should work perfectly and fit perfectly on the screen. They've kept everything pretty simple, uh, so it's kind of uncluttered, not a lot of buttons. According to them, they've made it intuitive and convenient. They still recommend using hardware wallets like Ledger, KeepKey, Trezor, etc. And they have their Mu Connect app that you can use to access the MyEther wallet and maintain security. As always, they don't recommend that you access your MyEther wallet with your key store file, private key, or mnemonic phrase. The MetaMask extension is still compatible, so that's a good thing. And the new Mu, as they're calling it, works well with Web3 injected browsers such as Brave, which we're using here. Now let's talk a little bit more about this new interface. Once you've gotten into your wallet, you can obviously access your balances without ever having to log out. As a matter of fact, this new Mu keeps you logged in until you log out. Wallet balances are supposed to be loaded automatically without the need for any third-party extensions. They also added in some new feature notifications in version 5. So basically, you don't have to sit there wondering, oh, my transaction gotten to where it was supposed to go. Also added in is a new partnership with Changely. Now you'll be able to exchange between tokens and coins pretty much seamlessly without ever having to leave your Mew. In addition to Changely, Biddy and Kyber Network swap functions are already available on Mew. So basically, that allows you to already swap between the 60 plus ERC20 tokens already on the network. One of the other good features that's here is their integration with Simplex, which basically offers users of Mu the ability to buy ETH with a credit card. And that's great if you're just starting out and you want to work primarily within the Ethereum ecosystem. Now, as always, you're able to manage all of your Ethereum tokens in your Mu, some 1,100 of them currently. And if, for whatever reason, the token you're looking for is not listed in your Mew, you can still add those custom tokens just as you could before with what they're now calling Vintage Mew. Another great benefit is that Mew has integrated with SafeSend, which is an opt-in anti-fraud feature developed by Coral Protocol. Basically, SafeSend reroutes outgoing funds to a smart contract while Coral Protocol verifies the trustworthiness of the destination address. Basically, this is a great feature that helps to prevent users of the Mew from accidentally sending their money to fraudsters. Now, Mew also allows for blockchain exploration. In the wallet dashboard, you'll find ways to switch to alternative nodes on ELO, CLO, the Ropsten testnet, etc., and many other chains still to come. Not to mention that Mew also provides custom node support as well. Now, from inside your wallet, you can view the new dApps page in Mu version 5. Basically, they're intending to bring partnerships and integrations that will allow users to interact with and manage dApps right from inside their MyEther wallet. Currently, you can also access Mu ENS. What is that? ENS is the Ethereum name service. You can also interact with IPFS, which is the Interplanetary File System. So basically, this allows you to pick a name for yourself, your brand, your company, just something funny you want to use, and that becomes the name of your wallet. While you're in your Mew, 
you can check the availability of these ENS domains and start finalizing any auctions and manage your ownership. Now with the new MyEtherWallet version 5, you can access it not just on MyEtherWallet.com, but on MyEtherWallet.eth. That's awesome. This means that Mu version 5 is completely hosted in a decentralized cloud, supporting a number of ENS networks. ENS domains are built on smart contracts, so they are not vulnerable like the DNS system. So what else has Mu done in the background? Well, let's take a look. They have improved RPC. So basically, it's an overall of the API backend that increases the efficiency of connections. Mu5 now supports a number of ETH APIs. They also have WebSockets support. RPC APIs are depreciated at this point. So basically, that they're no longer going to be supported by Web3 in the future. That's what that means. But they're moving to WebSockets, and Mu5 has basically put in WebSocket support for a number of these networks as well. Mu now supports service workers. This is one of the latest trends in technology. Basically, these scripts enable users to have the latest version of the website without worrying about any kind of caching issues. Not to mention, it becomes very efficient, to say the least, to have this in place if you happen to have an intermittent internet connection, maybe, or you temporarily go offline in the middle of a transaction. The flow of the actions will not be interrupted. Finally, they also have PWA support. So basically what that does is allow you to have the option of installing a complete Mew website as an app on your phone and using it to access your wallet. Now, as I mentioned before, you can still access the original version of my Ether Wallet. Again, what they're calling Vintage Mew. Though I believe that the interface for the new Mu is uh, a lot more streamlined and user-friendly, like anything else, when you get used to doing something a certain way, you may want to continue to do it that way. So for now, you can have the benefit of using all the functions of uh, Mu version 5, but you can do it through the old interface. So again, what they're now calling Vintage Mu. All right, so now we come to this page right here, which is Access My Wallet. You still have the option if you press the wrong button and you actually don't have a My Ether Wallet, you can create one right here, or you can pick the way you wish to connect to your My Ether Wallet. All the same access points are here as they were in Vintage View. If you were to go to View My Wallet, you got all those same access points right here. Just now, it's it's a little more streamlined and uh, looking pretty nice. So let me connect with my wallet. I'm going to be using my MetaMask extension to access my Ether wallet. Okay, so I paused the video for a second so I could log into my MetaMask, which I've done. And now we're going to connect to the my Ether wallet, the Mu, with MetaMask. And it's asking to make that connection. I am accepting the terms and accessing. Now it's asking to use my key and obviously I want to do that. We're going to connect them together. And here we go. We are now into the My Wallet section of My Ether Wallet. So my address information is here. I can access my QR code, print, or copy my address to send it somewhere. My ETH balance is zero because I've already shipped out all my Ethereum here at this point. Uh, it gives the network information here. If you want to add custom tokens, you click this, obviously. Now, from here, I said, again, it's if, you, if I wanted to swap, obviously, we'd access swap. Let me see what that looks like. Excellent. So basically, it allows you to swap from any number of coins or tokens to any number of coins or tokens. That's great. Even some fiat currency, the euro, the US dollar is in there. That's great. And so it's it, this is where we would pick how it is we want to do the exchanges. And then we would obviously hit continue. I, I don't have anything to exchange, so we're not going to be doing that here. Let's and now go take a look at dApps. 
All right. So if we wanted to register with the ENS, that would be great. We could uh, bid on a registered ENS domain. Uh, there are subdomains, obviously, and uh, this is safe send transactions. This is what we're talking about to make sure that uh, you weren't sending your Ethereum to a fraudulent address. This is awesome. Your notifications would be right here, which I don't have any new notifications. And this is this is great. You can go into your account settings here, which is honestly a lot easier, I think, than the vintage Mu. So this is what the new Mu version 5 looks like, frankly. I'm pretty impressed, and I hope this is helpful for you. I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I'll put links to everything you'll need below so you can do whatever it is you need to do with my Ether wallet and get all the up-to-date information right from their Medium channel. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'd appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our channel and tick that little bell. That way you'll get notified the next time we put out a video. Also, if you think this video could help someone else, share this video. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. Finally, some of the links you'll find in our description below are affiliate links. We don't put any ads on this channel on purpose, so we appreciate it if you could take some time to visit those links. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps our channel. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.